What's up, everybody? It is the 4K Lowdown. And, you know, I was scanning YouTube, and I ran into uh, My Killer Podcast, um, which I've been following for a while now. And Mel had this great list of her top 10 movies from 1984. And I thought, wow, that's a great list. My list would be a little bit different. So we talked back and forth for a little bit, and come to find out, this is connected to Mid-Level Media. Mid-Level Media, Ken over there, he does, he does a monthly dedicated thing. So, and if I get it wrong, I apologize, Ken. But basically, so for March, for this month, it's all about movies from 1984. So... I said, you know what? I want to put together my top 10 list and just see how different it is. And, you know, lo and behold, it was actually really interesting. So before I get started with the countdown, I want to give a big shout out to Mel at My Killer Podcast and to Ken with Mid-Level Media. And if you guys want to do your own top 10 list or anything about movies from 1984, use the hashtag MLM1984 movie month and that way we can all be together and all see each other's list it'll be kind of cool so anyway <clears throat> let's get rolling what i did was i took my 12 favorite movies from 1984 and i gotta tell you and i'm aging myself because that was like my teenage years so an impressionable impressionable time for me i was um I was young. I watched a lot of movies. Um, so there was a lot. Of, I was like, oh, wow, I really want to do that movie. I really want to do that movie. Um, so I had to break it down to 12, 12 movies. And what I did was I took those 12 movies, which are my favorites, and I scored them using the lowdown format. And then I put them in order by score. That way, no biased, just by quality of movie. Because my favorite movie from 1984 may not have been the highest scored movie from 1984. So it was really interesting. And I had a few surprises. Movies that I thought for sure would be in my top 10 after I scored it didn't quite make the list. So the reason why I picked 12 was so I could score them and then I would have two honorable mentions and then the top 10 list. So let's get it rolling. First honorable mention, and this is of the 12 movies, this got the lowest score. And this was one that was a surprise to me. So coming in at number 12 or honorable mention number one is the original Karate Kid. I really thought this would make my top 10 list because every time I watch this movie, I'm, I'm jazzed. So maybe it's a guilty pleasure, but when I did the scores for what I want for this type of movie, it actually didn't do very well. So at an 8.3, Karate Kid is my first honorable mention. Next honorable mention, and this was an interesting one because my number 10 movie and this movie got the same score. So in the event of a tie, I choose my favorite out of the two, which was also tough. So coming in at number 11 or the first, the second honorable mention is Gremlins. And you're saying, oh my goodness, Gremlins, that should be in your top 10 list. I know, right? It should be in my top 10 list. But it scored an 8.4 in my formula. And I went, okay, that was interesting. So Gremlins gets an 8.4 and does n almost makes my top 10 list, but not quite. Now let's get it rolling with my top 10. So, at number 10, also with an 8.4, the fantasy movie that 
I know I loved being that I was I was 14 in 1984. So this was an awesome movie. And that is The Never-Ending Story. The the dog and just the just the whole story of the movie is just brilliant. Great family film. Um, absolutely loved it. So, number ending story, never ending story, eight point four is number ten on my top ten list. Number nine. So, number nine. I know some of you know that I'm a huge sci-fi fan. Love my sci-fi. So there's a lot of good sci-fi movies that came out this year. So there are a few on this list. At number nine, with an 8.5, is Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. Why? I can't say. Could it be Christopher Lloyd? As a Klingon? <laughs> Possibly. Could it be the whole Genesis weapon? Definitely. But you know what? For the time period, the effects in this movie are really good. The acting is actually decent for Star Trek because they're famous for overacting. Um, so, Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock, 8.5 is number nine on my top ten list. I bet you're wondering, oh my gosh, David, what could be number eight? Well, I'm going to tell you. Coming in at number eight with an 8.6 on the low down meter is Top Secret, starring Val Kilmer. The only place that this really suffers is... Um, Actually, no, it doesn't really suffer at all. It's solid all the way across. So there's nothing really horrible about it. I mean, like, never-ending story. It's It was light on the cast. There's not very many cast members that are that are famous today or that have done more movies than that. So um, the cast loses in Star Trek, even though it's, it's an 8.5 and it was acted better than normal, it still gets a 5. So this one was actually solid across the board. 8s and 7s. Until you get to the comedy aspects, and then it's tens across the board. This movie is incredibly funny, crazy parody film, where they make fun of um, a lot of war movies and Elvis films. So um, think about like it's from the makers of Airplane. So think about all those like Scary Movie and things like that. This is where those came from. So Top Secret. If you haven't seen it, check it out. 8.6, this is number 8 on my top 10 list. At number 7 on my top 10 list, which came as a shock, because this was one of the ones that I thought was going to be an alternate, um, or one of the honorable mentions. So, at with an 8.8, and I want to double check that. Yes, with an 8.8, on the low down meter, my number seven movie is Beverly Hills Cop. This is the quintessential action comedy. Super funny, great action, cop movie. Um, you get the bumbling cops, you get the you get Eddie Murphy who's making fun of everybody. This this and 48 Hours were like the primo. This is set the standard for the action comedy. So, um, I'm sorry, Ride Along wishes that it was this good. Beverly Hills Cop, 8.8. .8. This is number 7 on my top 10 list. Let's keep it rolling. So at number 6, I thought this one was going to be higher but where this one gets killed, and I use that term generally, doesn't actually die. But what, what killed this movie was the pace, and that is the original Dune. Um, so the original Dune, I scored it as a 9.0. Uh, 
because for its time period and that it's set way in the future and just crazy story and all this crap's happening. It it was great, but it was so long. It's just, it just crawls. Um, so unless you are absolutely addicted to sci-fi like me, this is really hard to get through. But, and that's why it gets a really low score for pace, but high scores across the board for just about everything else. Um, so at number six, believe it or not, Dune gets a 9.0. All right, now it gets interesting. This one I also didn't think was going to be this high on the list. But I think of, I think of this movie as the... 80s action movie. It had all the great stars of that era. Um, just this huge cast, this great intense story that you could get behind. And so coming in at number five with a 9.2 is the original Red Dawn. Um, I have the Blu-ray with Navy Seals, which I also liked, but that wasn't 1984. The original Red Dawn, Patrick Swayze, C. Thomas Howe, Leah Thompson, Ben Johnson, Harry Dean Stanton, it Powers Booth, it just, the cast is just crazy. Um, I know Charlie Sheen's in here. But... Red Dawn, 9.2. This is number five on my list. Can it get better? Yes, it can absolutely get better. Coming in at number four. And I have two movies that tied, which are four and three. And I had two movies which tied for two and one. So these ones I had to pick. And man, it's tough. Okay, so coming in at number four with a 9.4 is the original Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, come on. Johnny Depp getting sucked into the bed. <laughs> um, the, the imagination in the kill scenes, the paranormal element and the slasher element together this was this was Wes Craven's home run. I mean, yeah, I love Ghostface, I love Scream, but this was this was Wes Craven's um, Ninth Symphony. This was his Rock Um So and that was it was really hard. It was like I gotta put this at three or four. So it just barely makes number four. So at number four on my list, the original, A Nightmare on Elm Street with a 9.4. So what could possibly be at number three? Well, I'll tell you, and I'm normally not, I'm normally not a drama person, but there are certain movies that come out like Bohemian Rhapsody, um, this year it's been King Richard. I really liked King Richard, but occasionally you get those those dramas that you're like, man, that was just an amazing story. So coming in at number three, also with a 9.4, is The Natural, starring Robert Redford. This is a great, great baseball movie. And an amazing cast. Not a biopic. I do not think it's based on a real person. But, oh my god, this is just a beautiful movie. If I see this come on TV, just regular TV, I will watch it. Every time. So, number three, with a 9.4, 
tied with Nightmare on Elm Street is The Natural, but it comes in at number three on my list. So, two more, right? So, these next two movies, it was really hard for me to choose. And I think on any other given day, these these two might switch, just like Nightmare on Elm Street and The Natural, just like Neverending Story and Gremlins. I think on any other day, I might switch those. So, coming in at number two. And, um, like I said, it gave, I, I took a long time to think about this. Because... I was like, this this is the movie. When I when I think of nineteen eighty four, this is the movie that I think of. And then I went, oh, and I th- and I think of the other one too. So coming in at two coming in at number two with a nine point five on the low down score is the original Terminator. This I base all time travel movies and most sci-fi movies off of this one. Now, I did like Terminator 2 better. Um, but this, it, for 1984, the way they did the special effects, oh, James Cameron was on point. Uh, so, yeah, this is the one for sure. Number two, 9.5, The Terminator. So that brings me to my number one movie, which also gets a 9.5. And again, on any other day, those two, uh, those two probably be switched. So um, it could be interchangeable. Coming in at number one with a 9.5 for 1984, is the original Ghostbusters. You're probably like, oh, duh. Of course you like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, so, and I've got the steel book of this one. It's just a beautiful artwork. But um, just everything. The chemistry between the cast, the, the action, the special effects. Everything was just amazing. And rest in peace, Ivan Reitman. Um for doing this movie (laughs) and bless you for doing this movie. But that's my list. I hope you like it. Uh, Please like, and subscribe, check out the notes at the bottom. I have links to my killer podcast again, Mel, thank you so much for doing your list. It made me really want to do my list and a big thanks to Ken at mid-level media. His link is also down there. Please subscribe to both of those pages if you haven't. Also is my link, so subscribe to my page. It would be great. Um, But I think I'm going to do more of these top ten lists. I like it. I'm enjoying it. So let's let's do this again. I'll see you guys real soon. Take care.